Hey guys, uh, today we're, guys, we're taking you guys along scouting with us. We're gonna try and do a little scouting video. Uh, it's spec season right now. Uh, Canada's opened up for us here this weekend, so trying to find some feeds, get on early before everyone else. And uh, if you can't do that, I haven't seen very many geese in the area, but hopefully we can find some. If not, we got a few duck spots in our minds. We'll scout and see what's there. So stay tuned, we'll walk you through it. Cut ourselves a giant pond here. Uh, say about 300 ducks on it. No, the landowner is, but never hunted it before, so. Guess we'll have to give him a call sometime. See if we can hunt it. But, big body of water, but there's a decent amount of ducks on there. Look, all to be like big ducks, so. We'll definitely keep this one in mind. Finally found some geese. Yeah. Well, finally found some geese. Big feed, I'd say probably about 500 and counting. More birds coming as we speak. Um, looks like they're feeding on a milo field. They're cut, there's so much, we got so much rain that they're coming off these bodies of water and fields and coming to this field. So finally found some geese. We'll find out who owns that and get permission on it if all goes well. And hopefully have a good hunt. So we got finally got ourselves a goose hunt. And yeah. Well, guys, uh, we got a good feed. It's uh, building as we speak. We got other groups that are just piling in here. Uh, I think they're almost all specs. I haven't seen, haven't, we haven't looked at it super close, but I think the majority of them are specs, which is normal for this time of year. And uh, hopefully we're gonna get a hunt on it in the next two, three days. And uh, like I said, for this time of year, it's quite a bit of birds for us, so. So if this keeps building, then hunt it. Well, guys, we just uh, got permission on the feed. We had to go to a house that was right next to the field. Um, had to ask them if they knew who farmed it or had a phone number for the guy who farmed it. They knew who farmed it. They gave us the name. They didn't have a phone number. We couldn't find a phone number, but uh, they told us where he lived. So uh, we drove about 10 miles to his house and uh, talked to the landowner. He was a really nice guy and gave us permission to hunt it. So. That's what you gotta do when you scout. You gotta find, uh, th find the feed first, and then you gotta find permission. And sometimes that takes uh, knocking on people's doors. So that's what you gotta do.